Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to go over how to make a page view using Drupal 7, and we're using Views 3. So in the past couple lessons, we've shown you how to use uh, filters, we've shown you how to use fields, and uh, you know we showed you how to use a pager, and those were all creating in block views. Well, a page view isn't too different. It offers uh, some cool features. However, just to get started here, I'm just going to show you how to make a page view and what you can do with it. So really the only difference between a page view and a block view is that it creates the page. And while you don't have a piece of content like you would when you create content, you will have a URL that you can go to and it will take you to that view. So to get started here, let's click on our views and we'll go to our shortcut here. And it looks like it says I have a security update available. In a future lesson, I'll show you how to update your core version of Drupal. Uh, for now, we can just ignore this because it's, you know, uh, this is just, this isn't live. We don't have to worry too much. But in the future, if you see these security updates, you'll probably want to take a backup of your site and then update core um, as long as there are no issues there. Um, so let's create a new view. And let's just call this new page. Like I said, this is just totally a test. I'm just showing you how to create a page view. So uh, by default, if you remember, create a page was checked before. Instead of unchecking it, we'll leave it checked. And we'll call this new page. And the URL path is going to be our local host, you know, our folder, our, and then new page. So this is actually how we'll access this page. After we create this page view, you're just gonna type in that URL and it's going to take you to the content. So we're gonna you know, keep this at 10 items of display, we're gonna use a pager, whatever. So let's click continue and edit. Okay, cool. So you know, it's giving me these errors saying uh, just a security update. Just likes to bother you about that still. So as you can see, by default, we're just bringing in all published content and we have it selected to show content and teaser. So it's showing the content and teaser for all of our things. Um, looks like everything. So let's add a filter on this. We're just gonna have this be just journal posts. So we're gonna add this filter to say content type. We're gonna select this. And we're gonna say we want it to be um, actually articles. Okay, apply to display. And instead of content teaser, we're gonna click this and we're gonna say fields. We wanna use fields for this. Um, yeah, we'll provide a default wrapper, that's fine. Okay, so now we can add our fields. As you see, there's just title here. So it looks like all of our titles. Let's say, let's add the post date to the content. So the publish date, let's see, post date. Content, post date, apply to all displays. Okay, long format, cool, 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 click apply. And as you can see, now here's our title and our post date. And here's the title of our page, which is of course new page. However, if we wanted to change that, you can just click on it right here where it says title and uh, you can change it here or down in your preview, you'll notice there's a little gear here. You can click on this, edit title, and it's gonna allow you to edit this. Okay, so if you remember our path was new hyphen page. Let's save this. Okay, now let's visit our page that we created just by saying uh, our normal base URL and then new path or new page. Hit go. And as you can see, here's all of our content. Here's the new page title that we gave the page. Here's our titles and here are their post dates for all of our articles thus far. This block is just another block that we have displayed on all pages. So just like any other node page, this is going to show up. So this acts essentially just like a node page. You just don't have a chunk of content to necessarily say, uh, you won't find this in find content. It won't be here. However, in views, view pages, it treats it just like a normal page. Okay, well that's how to create a page view. In the next lesson, we're actually gonna move away from views for a couple lessons and we're gonna come back to the more advanced functionality in views. But for right now, this should be able to get you going to create pages, creating blocks, and displaying content in different ways on your page. Uh, in the next lesson, we're gonna go over 
uh, date formats and how you can create your own date format so you don't have to say Saturday, April 21st and you know you can create your own and you're not stuck to what Drupal has in for you. Once again this is Scott with Level Up Tuts and thanks for watching.